Hey guys, this is Eric from Final Cut Studio School and I'm here to talk to you about sequencing text today. We're going to check out the sequencing text behavior and see what cool stuff we can create. This was created with a sequencing text behavior and it's just the tip of the iceberg. So let's go in and see how we can create something like this so you all can get a handle on it and maybe create your own cool stuff. So, let me stop playback. And let me uh, turn these this group off. I'll tell you what, let's just start from scratch. I'll erase everything. We'll just start new. So let's go to our file browser. Let's find a picture to bring in for just a background so it'll be easy to see. This will do. Same one we had. So now let's just add us some text to the scene. And I can bring the size up a little bit. Like so. Okay. Well, let's go to our inspector tab. Let us go to the style tab and give it an outline. We'll make it black so it'll be easier to see, and we'll give it a width of maybe four. Okay, now we got our base text. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go up to add behavior, go down to text animation, sequence text. Okay, now you can line everything up down here at the bottom if nothing's lined up because it throws in the new text and stuff wherever your playhead is if you have that option set and I, that's what I do have set so let me line up my stuff here at the beginning okay now we're good to go let me push play let's see here okay now let me push play now when it plays, it plays along you can see these little lines are going down the uh, letter as the playhead plays. That is the sequence text behavior in work right now. We just don't have it doing anything, but that's it working. So let's, um, you can leave it playing if your computer can handle it. If not, you can stop playback. Um, go into your sequence text behavior and your inspector under the behaviors tab and you'll see a sequence text. Now all this stuff here will come into play in just a minute, okay? First thing we want to do is find a parameter to add. So as you can see, there's a parameter, and you have add and remove. This is for adding parameters, and this is removing parameters. So let's go to add, format, and, well, let's go to face. Let's give it color. Okay, then we'll select our color here. And now, as you can see, our color is sequencing through our text. We can speed that up by increasing the, the loops. I'll make it 1.75. Now it's scrolling through just a little bit quicker. Okay, so now let's let's add a few more parameters to it. Let's go back to add. Let's go to face. Um, everything looks good there. Let's go to the outline part of it. Let's go to width. Let's add some a width parameter, and we'll scale it up a little bit like that right there. Now, as you can see, as it sequences through, this is a good demonstration of how the sequence text works. Okay. So now let's add a few more parameters. Let's go to Format, Position. Now as you can see when we add a position, it gives us a Z position. And that means we can have it work in 3D space. So let's set this up to about 225 in the Z space. Now as you can see, let me move this down. It's coming out at us in 3D space. So let's do a little bit more finesse in here. Let's go add a few more parameters. Let's go to our outline and let add a blur. And let's up the blur a whole lot. That way when it comes up like that, it's blurred. The outline blurs, see? Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's increase the loops a little bit, make it maybe a little faster. Okay, there we go. What else can we add? Let's go back to parameters and add a few more parameters. Let's add a drop shadow, which you probably won't be able to tell much about it because of the way we have it outlined. What else can we add? You can add parameters. You can add as many as you want. Let's do rotation. Let's add a rotation parameter. And let's rotate it maybe...
90 degrees maybe a little less now as you can see we have our text sequenced we can slow it down a little bit that's pretty pretty fast so let's, let's slow it down a little bit make it the loops maybe four and we can go on and on and on we can ramp it we can ease in ease out we can ping pong which means it'll go back this way back and forth let's see here how many what other parameters can we add we can add the scale parameter we can have it scale up a little bit let's see like that and as you can see you can do a whole lot with the, se with the one behavior called sequence text so I really hope this has give you an idea of how to get started you've seen how many parameters you can have now if you want to remove one um, let's just say we want to remove the rotation and now the rotation is gone so Use the add box to add them, remove box to remove them, and other than that, guys, get in and just play with it to your heart's content. And if you come up with some pretty cool stuff, you know, don't forget, you can add other behaviors like gravity, you can add camera moves, you can just do all kinds of stuff. I want to give you all an idea of how the sequence text behavior worked. If you come up with something cool, post it as a video response, and um, I'll approve it, and we'll let everybody else see your work too. So I hope you learned something, guys. We'll see you next time.